And Chloe, I'm over here in the silver hat. There you go. That's yours. That's yours. Uh, Blake and Chloe over here. Hi. Um, let, me get, let me get my shift. <laughs> uh, so, Blake, was there a moment over here? Uh, was there a moment where you kind of knew that Chloe had this in the bag? And Chloe, was there a moment when you kind of knew that you were maybe the favorite uh, going into the finale? No, there was. There wasn't. I I, I swear, after last season. Uh, I swore I would never try to assume who was going to win this show again. I, somehow in my mind, I told Chris Blue tonight, I said, man, I just knew uh, Dusky was going to win last season, and, and you beat me. What the hell's the matter with you, you know? I just, because I had it in my mind, you know. I, I, I think uh, there's, you know, watching iTunes is is so deceiving, you know. And then somebody like Chloe comes along and watching iTunes is exactly goes right along with what we've learned all season. So, uh, you know, I don't know what the hell's going on around this show. <laughs> yeah. I think for me personally, I, I know I never had a moment where I thought like, oh, yeah, I have this in the bag. But what I did notice was just personal growth throughout the competition and just watching you know, not like obsessively, but just going back and watching performances and thinking like, okay, something's happening. Like every time I'm almost like evolving a little bit more and more as an artist. So it just, it, it just instilled a lot of confidence in me. Not like I had it in the bag, but just confidence in general, you know, like coming out of the show, I didn't really have any, if I'm being honest. So no matter what, I was like, I'm walking away with a sense of who I am, even if that's just the beginning, you know, if that answers your question. Hi, in the middle. Um, how important is it that you won with Blake? Because Blake remembers his uh, past contestants, so yeah. you're going to be well taken care of. Yeah, th well, I do feel that way, but I also feel like if I wouldn't have won, and if it would have been anybody else, I believe, you know, Blake, when he says that, um, you know, he does take care of his, his team and his people that he works with, and, you know, whatever that would have looked like, even if that was just being able to pick up the phone and ask for advice, I think that that would have been something that would have happened regardless of winning. So I'm very stoked that we won this together. That's very fun. But regardless, I think we would have, you know, worked together and, you know, like keep it going. It's not just, it's not just for the show, it's real. Blake, uh, do you think that Chloe has what it takes to be a big superstar and what are you going to do to help her? I do think uh, she has what it takes. In fact, uh, the, the last couple of days, especially last night, I, you know, I, I, it's one thing for me to think that, but it's, it was just an overwhelming response from, you know, social media and, and just people, you know, friends and family who text me my phone's blowing up right now. I'm, I'm actually embarrassed. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but <laughs> people, people love Chloe, and and I think it's something that uh, people have been starving for musically. What she does, and and I truly, it's it's hard to say this without people going, "Oh my God, we've heard that." But I truly think Chloe can go on from here and become the, really the first superstar. Uh, let's not even take it that far. Let's just say star. The first star that we've had come out of this show that can have some hit songs and stuff. I, I, I do think you can be a superstar. I'm just trying not to hex this, this thing. Uh, I just, I, I think that uh, when somebody with a voice like you have uh, can get their hands on, on the right songs and and get you know the record company behind them uh, 
how do you ignore her voice? How, how do you not want to own a record that has her voice on it? That's, something's wrong with you. Something's physically <laughs> wrong with you if you don't want that, right? That's how I feel. Yeah. Mentally. Mentally, too. <laughs> mentally wrong with you. Yeah. Hi guys, right over here. Um, congratulations to both of you. Chloe, when you first started on The Voice, you were on Team Miley, and so during the knockout rounds, you were eliminated. Did you think that was your, that, that your journey on the show was over after that, before Blake saved you? And Blake, what was it about Chloe that made you want to have her be on Team Blake? She's very, she's different from a lot of the country contestants you usually coach. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, definitely the way that the um, preliminary rounds are set up, you know, you're told that there are steals, you're aware of that, but it's kind of presented to you in a way of like, you got to be something to get one of these steals. Like, you know, they don't use them on just anybody. It's like a big moment. So going into it, you don't bank on getting the steal. You bank on just winning. And... This is the one thing that I've said, like that song, I was very confident. That was like a song that I was like, okay, landslide, like I can do this. Yes, it's slow, but I'm, I'm confident in this song. And all of a sudden I'm standing up there and I'm thinking like, okay, like, yeah, I got this, you know? And then Miley's like, no, you don't. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, like, whoa, that was short. That was not the experience that I thought I was gonna have. And then all this is happening in a matter of like, you know, seconds and then Blake and Jennifer push their buttons to steal me. And I remember thinking like, I had no plan because Miley was my only plan. And all of a sudden I thought, okay, I'm going, I gotta look for something I can relate to. And just from the few comments Blake had made to me and just hearing about him as a person, you know, cause I'm from Nashville. So I've heard of you outside of the voice. I've heard of you just from word of mouth, just people speaking on your behalf and they speak so highly of you. So I was like, yeah, in like the few seconds, I was like, I'm gonna go with Blake, even though this makes no sense. On paper, <laughs> the P's are getting really like pronounced there, but like on paper, I, it didn't make sense, but it works, you know? I think it works. <laughs> it, it, no, actually, it worked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, look, I, I've worked with all kinds of, of, who asked that question? Well, I've worked with all kinds of artists on this show. I mean, uh, you name it, and they have been on my team at, at some point, I think. And, and I think it was, uh, it needed, Especially this year, it just feels like this this powerful female, and I, and I didn't know it at the time, but it now it just, when you look back on on things, you go, of course, this is this was meant to be uh, uh, that she would win this show. That 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 not only just a, a female would win this show, but this this rock and roll female would win this show uh, because we've never even had a, a rock artist like a true rock artist well that's not true uh, uh, Terry McDermott did very well on the show it's been a long time ago though uh, but we've never had a rock artist actually win the show and and for Chloe to to break down that wall and and just pretty much just break the mold of of what we've seen on this show it was just uh, it was awesome, and so I don't remember what your question was, but that's the damn answer <laughs> you got. No, I. Well, of of course, I, you know I, I can't. I'm not going to sit here and say I knew all along, damn it. But I will say that look, I, I I'm I'm not the the sharpest knife in the drawer. I just know what I like. And I knew that I loved her voice. That was way before we knew how people were going to react to her and, and when America got a chance to, to hear her, that they were going to buy crap loads of her music. You know, I just, I thought, well, I like that. I, I think that's awesome. I, I want her on my team. I, every time I had a chance, I tried to get her on my team. Uh, and, and that's really the way I've approached 
being a coach on this show from the beginning is you know, I try try not to overthink anything and just go with what moves me, you know. Hi. Hi. Um, Blake, could you expand a little bit on what you and Adam were talking about yesterday in terms of what the record label needs to do in order to make her a star? Well, I, you know, I, release an album would be a, a good start. <laughs> I think the, the last two winners I've had of the show on this show never have even had an album released. Um, and so that would be important. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's looking at me like, what? Uh, um, you know, I look. If you if you can hear this girl and see this girl, and not figure out a way to, to get her music out there, you know, and all you really got to do, I, I feel like, is is get make a, a good record, which is that's on you, and then just. The record company just needs to give her the platform, you know. If they can do that, if they can really do that, I think it's going to be easy. I think uh, she, she, she's so talented and she has such a vision uh, for who she is as an artist and, and, and what she wants to be and, and what she wants to look like. I mean, we've seen that. I mean, way a different level of thinking than, than I've worked with on this show because, uh, you know, every time she walked out on that stage uh, over the last few weeks, I was like, whoa, look at that hair. <laughs> look, at, look at that outfit, you know? And it's like, she knows, she is keeping us engaged. She's keeping people excited. She's keeping people guessing. And uh, she is, from a marketing standpoint, which I don't know, but I would say... That's got to be a dream for a record company to to have an artist like that. That's not that's not missing the mark when they when they go for those sort of things. So, I mean, come on. If you if we can't follow through with this thing, then WTF? You know. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> Chloe, Blake. Hi guys. Congratulations. Hey, buddy. Um, so this, uh, Blake, what number win is this for you? And does this give you... Six. <laughs> I think. Bragging rights for Adam. Words for Adam at this point? Uh, yeah. I mean, is Adam really even... On? He's not even really on... The, I mean, I'm more worried about somebody more relevant, more <laughs> recent. I mean, talk to me about... Alicia, I mean, talk to me about that. Talk to me about Christina. I mean, talk to me about somebody that's won the show in the last, you know, decade. I, I don't, I don't know that Adam's really on the radar anymore. I mean, look, I'm a Troy Aikman fan, but he's not going to win any more Super Bowls. You know, he's out of the game. So that's kind of where I put Adam now. If that helps. Thank you. Yeah. Um, hey guys, back here, um, standing up. Um, Chloe, you told me last night that you were, if you won, you'd buy a bunch of shoes. Um, wow. You did win. Maybe a, a more substantial answer at this point, but I mean, it's, has it settled in for you yet? Do you realize that you won, and what's the immediate next step for you after you leave here tonight? In this moment, I feel like me saying I was going to buy a lot of shoes if I won this show was something I probably shouldn't have said, because that sounds... Pretty superficial. What did you say? I said I was going to buy a lot of shoes. Oh, okay. That's not my only plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, for me, truly, and I think I answered this question. I obviously talked to, like, all you guys last night, but, you know, and it's funny that you brought it up. The first thing on my mind is working on a record because it's one thing to sing week after week, sing other people's songs, which are already so good. And in rock and roll, I mean, you can't go wrong. Like song after song is just incredible. But I think the real proof in an artist is being able to, um, you know, create that sound from your own mind and make original music that stands the test of time, like, like classic rock. And um, 
so yeah, for me, the first thing I want to do is just start creating and start writing and working with people. And I love working with people. I love influence. I think you should never stop learning. And even though, you know, me and Blake are so different, I think that was the coolest part about working with, with you is just week after week hearing kind of a new perspective. And I can get kind of heavy when it comes to music and get kind of serious and you're very lighthearted. Yes, she can. <laughs> and kind of like in a weird place where I'm like, oh, it has to be like this and overthinking and Blake's kind of like chill and just like trust your instinct. So the first thing I want to do is make a record and then I want to plan, you know, a tour. And I'm already thinking about visuals and creations for that as well. So it's like, totally a mental space I'm about to enter into, but I'm very excited. And I don't think that it would be as readily available to me and as possible if I wouldn't have won. So I'm very excited that this is like, a, this is just a catapult into hopefully what is a very creative process for me as an artist and working with Blake. So I'm very excited. Blake, Chloe, congratulations. Hi, it's very exciting. Hi. <laughs> Blake, what advice do you have what, what for Chloe? What is that accent? I South African. Wow. Oh. Love that. Thank you. <laughs> Blake, what advice do you have for Chloe now moving forward? Obviously, tomorrow the real work starts. She wants to bring out an album. So what's your biggest piece of advice that you well, have? Well, I, I was just listening to her talk in that moment, and, and, and she's saying what I would probably have said to her, which is, just go and create now and and create with people that you n n doesn't really necessarily make sense yeah. to you you know i think i think that's been a key part of of your discovery on this show for yourself and for people and and uh you know there's there's been so much music that chloe discovered on this show only because people heard her voice and and she listened to people yeah. and they said man what about bonnie tyler what about kim carnes what and not that she does not that she's a puppet but she went well who are these people you know she's 20 what are you 23 okay. she's 23 so she went and discovered this stuff that she maybe would have never experienced you know so uh, I would just say, you know, go into it with an open mind and, and a creative mind, and and we're all dying to know what you're going to come up with, you know, including your old double chin coach sitting here. I'm dying to know what you come up with. Yeah. Do you have time for one more question? Right over here. Hi, guys. First off, congratulations to both Thank of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. <laughs> Chloe, you talked about earlier that you know, your personal growth and, you know, earlier you had the lack of self-confidence when you first started in this competition. When did you finally realize, you know, I actually have got this. Like, when, when did the personal self-growth and confidence during this journey, did it finally click with you that I could actually win this thing? Um, wow, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there was like a moment you know, not to give the cliche answer, but um, Total Eclipse of the Heart was a really big turning point for me. And if you go back and you watch, because obviously, you know, I watched the video because I want to know, like, what I look like when I'm singing. And it's a little scary sometimes. I didn't realize I get pretty into it. No matter it. what any artist <laughs> says, they watch, the, they watch that stuff. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, like, watching, and I see, like, the beginning of the song. And I can see the same face that was in the blind audition in the battles, in the knockouts, even in the uh, playoffs for time after time. And it's like, it's like I'm singing, but I'm thinking about singing, right? And then it got to like the chorus of Total Eclipse of the Heart. And I saw something in my face change and I stopped thinking and I just started feeling and I just started performing. And then every week after that, it was like that all the time. And I started this show, um, being very transparent with not a shred of self-confidence, not a shred. So the voice has literally changed my life because it, it showed me things I never even knew were possible and it's changed the way I even see myself and see other people, you know what I mean? So for me, that was huge. That was like, I remember walking off the stage after that song, hugging you and walking off and thinking like, that is a moment I'm never gonna forget in my life. 
it was like I literally transformed, you know? So thank you for asking that. So delicious.